Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I never know how to start these things. I should probably like write out a little bullet list about things I want to talk about because I feel like I just start rambling like how I am now. Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new iPhone Max or iPhone X or iPhone 10. I've always said X. I'm sorry if I offend you if I say X. Obviously, it's 10. The Roman numerals mean 10, but it's just easier to say iPhone X Max. Blah, blah, blah. iPhone X S Max. And I got the gold one. Um, I was actually going to get this for Christmas. We'll ask for it for Christmas. Um, but this Black Friday um, deal was going on with Walmart that if you got it then, you got a $300 gift card to Walmart. So I decided to grab that up. And I'm super excited, so, because I was ready for an upgrade, or, like, with my contract, um, I'm with Sprint, and Sprint is not very good, so I would not recommend, but I was eligible for an upgrade, so I was going to get the phone probably regardless, but this deal, I was able to get a $300 gift card to spend on whatever I wanted at Walmart, so that was pretty cool. That's pretty neat. But anyway, I really needed the phone for sure because I only have like 32 gigs of storage on the phone that I got. Long story, but I have like no storage half the time because whenever I'm recording videos for YouTube, I'll literally have to stop because it'll stop recording and it'll say, no more storage, you must delete photos and videos, like blah, blah, blah. So I'll have to go and stop the video and go into my photos and my videos and make sure I'm deleting messages, make sure I'm deleting photos and messages so that I have enough storage to then keep recording. And then when I edit on my phone, which I do through iMovie, I have to then save that edited version to my phone. So that's another like 20 minute video I have to save to my phone. And so like I never have storage and it's like the hardest thing ever for me to film. So I knew that for Christmas like I for sure wanted to get this phone. Long story short, I got the phone because I needed more storage and I had an upgrade. So now I have the iPhone XS Max Gold with the 256 gigabytes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unbox it for you. Um, I'm actually recording on my husband's phone because obviously I can't like record on my phone. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so I just wanted to do like a little unboxing just to show you what you'll get with your purchase. Um, so this is the box that came in. Looks like this. And I believe it comes in three, um, colors. There's the gold, the silver... I think the black or gray I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure I got the gray it's like a rose gold gray uh, um, I'll take it out of the case so you guys can see it it's so pretty it's only it's called gold but it's definitely like rose gold it's like a beautiful gold color but okay so you get this box and you're just gonna open it these boxes are always hold, hard to open I feel like they always get stuck so then you're gonna just get like the regular you know instructions type deal and then you're gonna get a pair of headphones which I already took the headphones out where did I put them ah! so it comes in this obviously but you're gonna get these headphones um I went to the gym with these that's why they're kind of all like jumbled up but it has this end to it so, you know, it's going to go into your device. You won't have to buy a, um, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Like, you know, the plug-in where, it, why can't I not think of what it's called? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, if I figure it out, I'll leave it right here or something. Man, why can't I think of what it's called? I'm so mad. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so then you'll also get, where's it at? I'm like, I'm not very organized, obviously, as you can tell. So, and then you're going to get, you know, your charger and then a new um, charging cube. So, yeah, this looks like this. I haven't got it out yet because I have, it's not a new charger or anything, so I haven't needed to get one out. So, it's nice to have extras for sure. So, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And then, ah, I'm just getting in the mirror um, what this looks like. I wish you could see it better. Well, that's what that looks like. 
Um, I got the Max um, because I've always had the Plus and all that stuff because I've just liked the bigger phones. The small phones are just so tiny. I feel like I just always watch videos on my phones a lot, so I just like the bigger screen. It's easier on my eyes and such. So yeah, this thing is so cool. Like I was so worried about the no... Oh, let me turn my... Okay. So it doesn't have a home button so I was like so worried because I was like how am I going to get used to like not pushing the home button to get off of the app because um one of my friend has this phone and I was trying to use it the other week and like two weeks ago and I was like how do I get out of these things and it was like so difficult for me so I was like really worried but once you have your own phone you do it and it's like so easy it's so easy to um get used to and such so yeah so I've had this phone since Friday last week, and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Like, amazing. Like, I definitely didn't really, like, need a new phone. My phone before was great. I just needed the storage, so I was like, might as well upgrade and get more storage and all that, get the new phone. And the camera quality, though, let me just, I just burped. Let me tell you, it is the best freaking camera ever. Oh my gosh. Like, the portrait... The portrait thing and like the studio lighting effect that it has is amazing like it's so crystal clear HD like it's beautiful so like that's super exciting because I've been trying to like take more Instagram photos to get my Instagram more consistent and so like being able to take quality photos is very helpful don't mind my appearance also because I wasn't really planning on making a video tonight I just got done doing laundry and I'm just just don't mind it okay but yeah, so I'm just going to show you what I have on my phone now um, because I figured I would do like an unboxing and review and then show you what apps I use also. I love watching these videos. Just I feel like I'm just nosy and I just like to see what other people have on their phones. So I'm sure you guys are like that too because that's why you're watching. But <laughs> so you have your home screen and I'm just going to show you these parts and then I'm going to go into screen recording um, so you'll be able to see that. So then, you click it on, there's a side button right here, you just click that on, there's this buttons here for the volume down, up, and then there's the, you know, the little click thing if you want the volume up or down, and then it has the dual cameras right here, so instead of it like this, it's like this, and then obviously, like, it just has the single right there. So, this is what that looks like. And just a picture of Hayden from this summer. She looks so cute in this picture. I love it. Um, but yeah, so to slide up, the coolest thing about this is the face ID. Now, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it, basically. But I love it now. Like, I won't have to, I don't have to, you know how sometimes your phone just doesn't work with the thumb? And you're like, oh my gosh, I'm literally doing it correct the whole time. It just won't work, and then you have to click your numbers or whatever. Which is like, okay, first world problems. But this thing is super cool because it's just like, you can see there's a lock button at the top of course you can't see anything okay there's a lock button at the top if I just face it towards me it shows an unlock button and you just swipe up and then it's there so that's pretty cool so yeah I'm going to switch over to screen record and I'm going to just record um oh excuse me I'm just going to record this my screen so you guys can see on my video however I decide to do it. I might just put the screen video on there or I might just plug it in and while I talk do it. We'll see. So when you swipe up and I also got this phone case from Amazon. I don't love it. It was definitely way more pink and white on the pictures and this is more purpley. It's like lavender. So I don't love it, but it's good for now. I got a clear one also. I'll probably just put that one back on. We'll see. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't even start screen recording. What am I doing? <sighs> okay, let's try that again. I just realized I wasn't screen recording. Okay, so now you're on my phone. 
you're gonna see the basic you know FaceTime calendar photos camera mail clock maps weather notes reminders news stocks watch health TV iTunes store podcast app store wallet settings and phone so I have phone over here just because whenever I open it I want to be able to just like find the phone right away just in case I need to call someone really quickly um, but then other than that it's just pretty boring um, on my bottom four I have Facebook iMessenger or iMessage Instagram and YouTube um, last my last phone I didn't put YouTube down there it was just on my phone um, but I replaced that with Twitter um, I just recently deleted Twitter because I just felt like it was just not doing me any good basically so yeah um, now my second page I have contacts at the top and then I have a folder that literally just has a bunch of random stuff that I don't ever use yeah I won't use any of that um, and then I have my Yahoo Mail, and then I have my music, which I have Spotify, and I have Apple Music on here, but I actually don't use Apple Music, I use Spotify, um, yeah, so I don't use, oh, of course, I was not going to show anything, because I'm on airplane mode. Anyway, so that's just my music little app, or folder, then I have health, and I have my fitness pal and Fitbit. Um, I use my fitness pal to track, um, my food. I've been recently just trying to, like, eat better, trying to stay under, like, 1,300, 1,200 calories a day. Um, I started the week of Thanksgiving. Ask me why. I have no idea. Dumbest decision ever, but it's fine. I started going to spin class in the morning, and then if I can't get myself to get up in the morning, I'll just go in the evening, um, and work out. So, yeah, I'm just using that to track, um, just the calories that I eat. Um, and then I use Fitbit, and that's just to, um, that just connects with the Fitbit that I wear. I'm not wearing it right now. I took it off for the night. Um, but yeah, so that just tracks your, like, calories that you burn and all of that stuff. Like, you can track your progress through that. So then I have this folder. I haven't, like, labeled the folders or anything, and I feel like these are all kind of scrambled around, so don't mind that. But I have Kohl's, Walmart, Menards, Sephora, Ulta, and McDonald's. I feel like that's so random, but... Yeah, so I just use these to shop on the apps, obviously. And McDonald's, if you don't have McDonald's, and if you ever go to McDonald's, they have so many coupons on there. Like, literally, tons of coupons that's going to save you money or get you free food. Like, I don't like to go there a lot, but whenever I do, or if John wants to go through there, the drive through then I'll always pull up that. And we always get a couple dollars off or something for free. Anything like that. And then I have my finance. I have my bank app. Um, Wells Fargo, which is where we pay, um, one of our bills. I have Dosh. Um, if you don't know what Dosh is, it's basically, it's a cashback app. Um, it's kind of newer within the last couple years, but they do a referral program. That's really why I have it on my phone. Um, I'll just show you. So, it's basically just a cashback app. So, you just connect your phone. Basically, whenever you shop anywhere, it's going to give you cash back. So, like, if you shop at Nike, you just go on this app and then it'll direct you to Nike through this app. Um, and whenever you check it or connect your card, it's going to give you, like, 5% back from what you spent. So, if you spend, like, 50 bucks, you're going to get 50 cents back. No, that's wrong. <laughs> if you spend, like, why can I not do this? If you spend, okay, like, so let's just say if it gives you 10%. <laughs> if you spend $100 at Nike, you're going to get $10 back. So each store or restaurant gives you a different percentage back, but it just earns you money just for shopping at the stores. And that's all it is. Um, it's a pr really cool app. Um, I'll leave my link down below. You can just click it, and um, that whenever you use my link, I'll get $5, and then you'll automatically get $5. But you have to use a referral link to download it to get those five dollars for free so yeah it's really cool anyway I use Venmo um, which is just you know whenever like I uh, do something for somebody and they need to pay me or vice versa we would just use that um, I have my Sprint and then I have Amazon which is like the best thing ever um, Starbucks and then I have Audible which I love Audible um, if you haven't heard of this yet, it's awesome. I recently just bought the Cole and Sav, um, the, their Audible or book that they just came out with about their story. Um, and then I recently finished, not recently, I guess it's been a couple months ago, the Girl Wash Your Face book. But it's Audible, so it like reads it to you, so you just download it. 
Um, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you get your first book free. So that was pretty cool. So I got that book for free. And then I have the Bible app, which is where I read a lot of devotionals or I'll just read. But yeah, it gives you like a verse of the day, different things like that. You know, uh, recently I've just been trying to read the Bible more so um, instead of just an app because I don't want Hayden just watching me see me on my phone and then she's not knowing that I'm reading the Bible. I want her to see like her mom read the Bible so that it can be, you know, just known to her that we read the Bible. And then I have shopping. <laughs> this is like the most random apps cluster. <laughs> Because it's Etsy, Pinterest, and then I have TikTok, which I don't even do TikTok at all. I just randomly have it on here. Um, and then I have Cricut Design, and I have Shutterfly, and then Marco Polo, which I just recently downloaded because my friend Joy, um, she's actually my sister-in-law. But Joy, she does, she showed me this, and it's basically like a group, face chat, Snapchat, but it's just really cool. Kind of like Snapchat, but I guess a little differently. And then for photos, I have Facetune, I have Visco, Fonto, Layout, or Instagram Layout, Google Photos. Um, and then this is the follow track. That's just where I see um, if people unfollow me or they follow me. Um, because just learning in social media, basically, like if you follow people, if people follow you and you follow them back, and then you go on this and you see that they unfollowed you right away. They're just trying to get followers. So I'll just go and unfollow them. Because obviously they're not going to be benefiting me. So why would I follow them? Unless I really like their feed then I will. But if it's just a random account that I'm not really interested in. I'll just go back and unfollow them. Um, and then I have PicTapGo and then WordSwag. So I use these apps mainly for editing my videos. Editing my photos. My thumbnails for YouTube. Anything like that. And then I have Snapchat. Um, I'll put this thing on here so you can like add me. Screenshot this and add me on Snapchat. Okay. So then I have Messenger. So Facebook Messenger. And then I have Safari. And then I have games. <laughs> That's so funny. These are just like four random games. Because on my old phone I could never have games on there for Hayden to play. I could never have games on there because I never had storage, so Hayden could never, like, play games on my phone, which wasn't a bad thing, but now I'm, like, have all the storage, and I was so excited to, like, download a game so that she could play it whenever she was, like, getting antsy at church the other day. So, I just have Paint Party, Makeup 2, Learning Games, and Bike Race. They're, like, super random. <laughs> she just started playing them on Sunday. And then I have my YouTube folder, which has the YouTube Studio and then iMovie iMovie is where I edit all of my photos, or all of my videos for YouTube, um, and then um, YouTube Studio is just like for people who have YouTube channels, um, it's just a way for them to see their views and just like look at the analytics and stuff like that. And then I have the Easy Tithe app, this is what my church does, um, you can pay your tithe through like five different ways, but this is just the app that you can do it online because we just do it online. We never carry cash. So, um, you know, every every week John gets paid and I get paid every two weeks um, on top of just the signs I sell, the makeup I do if I make any extra money. So we always tithe on that and then we could um, do offering on that also. So, yeah, so that's it uh, for my phone. Yeah. So yeah, that is my what's on my phone slash review unboxing of my new iPhone. I'm super excited, super pumped. Shout out to you, babe, for letting me get this early. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking about recording like um, Christmas gift guide for her and then a Christmas gift guide for him. Um, so if you think that would be a good idea or something you're interested in, just leave a comment below. Make sure you give this um, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my videos. Because I upload at least once a week, sometimes twice if I have the chance to. Um, I'm very busy. I work full time and then I come home and either usually have some project to do. And then I also have my daughter and my husband and my dog. So I'm very busy and... We are in the middle of a room edition right now, so this is why I don't have, like, a place to film, but we are doing a master bed and bath, um, 
and a closet addition so I'm so excited for that so when that's done I'll have my own little space for me to film um, hopefully I'm getting a ring light for Christmas we'll see um, if not I will be probably purchasing one purchasing one myself because the one I have right now is like super tiny does the job right now but I definitely need something better so yeah um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there. I'll leave that below. Um, I'm really excited to announce that I have over 230 subscribers now. So I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway thing when I hit 300 subscribers. Um, so you'll be able to enter in to, give it, to get a giveaway. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but it'll be exciting. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, don't forget to... How many times am I going to say that? Hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!